Hello everyone, this is Saad from Basha FX and today I'm going to show you how to create this loading effect. Um, uh, it's pretty easy and it's pretty, pretty fast. Uh, it's not too complicated. Uh, we can, but it's going to take probably like a minute to create it. Um, so let's get started. Um, create a new comp. Uh, in this example, I have used uh, rectangular shapes, uh, rectangular shapes, but you can have any shape you want. In this example, I'm going to use uh, uh, circles. So what we're going to do is once you create the shape using the ellipse tool, all you have to do is select shift so it can create a perfect circle and make sure it's not too big or small. About this size should be good. Or else it's gonna uh, we're gonna have we're not gonna have a lot of uh, not much detailed uh, in the circles. Um, well, next thing we're gonna do is once you create the shape, uh, this thing's gonna show up down here. So all you have to do is go to the add, click the arrow, and select the repeater effect. Now this is gonna make the copies of the shapes we have created. So we're gonna go about we're gonna create about uh, I don't know about 20 copies for right now. We can change it later, uh, depending on the settings. And then the next thing we can do is um, go to the transform repeater one of uh, right here. Then it's gonna tr uh, show the transformations effect settings for the repeater effect, not the shape. Uh, so in here, what we're gonna do first to create this uh, line this uh, circle lines to go in a circle is uh, first we're going to position this circles into one into one position so we're going to so we're going to make this go zero so it's zero zero everything all the all the 20 copies of the circles are in one line uh, behind each circle now to make the thing go circle we're going to do is use the rotation settings and create the effect there we go now when you want to stop is when you are happy with the spacing you want between the circles that's what the rotation pretty much do in this case so uh, I want about about this much I think I think this they are pretty evenly distributed, uh, pretty evenly spaced. So now you're gonna say, well, it's not complete the circle. Well, we have because there's are not enough copies for this uh, rotation. So what we're gonna do is go to about 25. There we go, 25. Perfect, perfect circle. Now to animate this to go in circle is you don't transform, you don't uh, animate the rotation but you animate the copies so just go here and, and all the way in the beginning and select the keyframe actually I'm going to go to about after one second but less than two seconds though and uh, hit uh, the keyframe hit the small watch and add a keyframe here then move all the way back here and make the zero and now what we have this loading effect circle if you want this to go the other way all you have to do is go down to the transform of the repeater again and it's positive 15 I'm gonna make it negative 15 there we go boom and that's how I created this effect and if you want to change this color uh, you can always go here and make this red or if you want, want to add more different uh, shadings, colors and stuff like that uh, I would suggest you use a fill effect just drop it on uh, the shape and you can uh, you know do a lot of things with it uh, make it blue or maybe yellow let's make it blue there you go, you can change the opac opacity and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I created this effect. And the number thing that I created in the center is pretty much this. I'm going to create a new solid. Uh, comp size, I guess, doesn't matter. And uh, go to the effects panel and search for numbers. 
that's what the effect is called. You can do a lot of stuff with uh, this effect. And once you add the effect, it's gonna, this thing is going to pop up and you're gonna ask for the font you want. It uh, doesn't matter what font. You just use a random font. Uh, yeah. Center it. Uh, horizontal. And press OK. Now, this thing is going to show up in red. This numbers. Oops. OK. Alright, this is numbers, so I'm going to go to the numbers effect, and uh, we can choose a lot of different, there are a lot of different options here. You want a date, you want a hexadecimal, and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is go to, first we're going to go and hit U on our shape, so we can unveil the keyframes. Then we're going to go on here, on our number layer, and we're going to... Uh, First change is decimal points to zero. We only need one number. Then one we're gonna do is we're gonna animate the value offset. Uh, so first we're gonna set a keyframe for right here. Now we're gonna hit U so we can see the keyframes for our number layer and make sure you align them so this goes according to the loading bar. And then we're gonna make this hundred or whatever percentage you want good. then you can always change the size and the color make it white um, so there we go simple nice and easy and yeah the other thing I did uh, was uh, I uh, for the first one, I guess, I created this uh, background for uh, background for this layer right here, this one. Uh, all I did was uh, duplicated the duplicated this uh, shapes, uh, this shape layer, duplicate it, put in the back, rename it background, and uh, go all the way after the keyframes. And all you can do is hit U and just delete the keyframe for the hit the uh, delete the keyframes and just make the uh, make sure you go all the way after the keyframes then delete it so it's stopped on 100 and we can just change the fill for this one make it gray or white so when you go it's gonna start fill it up that's how I made the effect. Uh, it's pretty easy, straightforward. You can, you know, then you add some bevel to your uh, to your layers and stuff. Drop shadow. Uh, if you don't know how to add a drop shadow, all you have to do is do the layer styles. Right click layer styles and right here, bevel, drop shadow, and stuff like that. Then you can just create the effect. Uh, so yeah, that's how I created. Uh, the project file is available to download for free. Link is in the description. Uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, like this video um, if it helped you. You can use a lot of, a uh, lot of, create a lot of different things with this. Uh, just play around with it. It's not a very complicated thing. It's very easy. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you check out my website. Uh, it's a new website I created. A uh, new Facebook page I created. So check that out. And also, if you need a custom intros, I got it here on my intro store. Uh, it's pretty cheap, uh, according to other, other people ask you to create them. But uh, here, want to check that intro store out. Sorry about the slow internet here. Uh, all right, go down. You can uh, just click the Add to Cart button and just buy the intros. Uh, if you want a custom intro, then you can just contact me and we can just set up a appointment to set up all the things. Uh, and also check out the, uh, the, the other freebies I have created. Uh, there download pauses right here. And that's it pretty much. And thank you for watching and, uh, uh, and see you guys l later.